Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. So great. There you go. That's uh, that's pretty much um, the the end of that analysis here. So great. Yep, we've got the X, Y location. This is actually based on the center of mass of these ROIs. Uh, I'll show you a little bit more about that in a second. And uh, can we manually set the the X, Y origin? Uh, in this case, I think, you know, maybe the best explanation for that is that, you know, we could be moving the ROI or what I think is really important to show here uh, is we can do some some stuff with background subtraction. Uh, so this is, a, I think, a really good way to, again, uh, compensate for any background staining, any background fluorescence that you're seeing. Uh, and then really just pull out signal. So uh, with my initial background subtraction selection, I've applied a rolling ball to this and I have applied a, uh, a measurement of background fluorescence. This is something that kind of gets into the weeds. So I'll point you back to that how-to document. We have a really long section on how background subtraction works and the different ways that you can manipulate this. Uh, but one of the really nice things to show here is that I can uh, let's oops I can you know select some of these ROIs and I maybe can move them or I could delete them if I don't like them. Uh, this is where I could go in and uh, maybe just draw my own background sections if that's what I'm looking for. Uh, again, that grid of background measurements that we take is based on some standardization that we did in that Slaker 2016 paper. So check that out if you have any questions. Great. So back to this. Um, and then can you quantify the size of each cell ROI? Yep, another really good question. So once I've applied the background subtraction to this, what we're actually going to see in our export is just the uh, signal above background. And that's because the program goes through and it sets everything that's below that background threshold to be not a number. It's a really great way to remove those from your averages, from your means. Uh, and so what we're going to see here is when background has been applied, my uh, my mean intensity is actually just going to be above background, and then my mean minus background is just going to be signal above even that uh, that low level background level. So again, uh, something to check out in the um, the how to documentation. Uh, 